Previously, I created this entire form that I customized and I have the access through my Tally dashboard. Now let's look about the integrations. What are the integrations? Well, probably you don't want to collect all the data only into Tally. You would like to transfer actually all the data to another place, to another app. And here we see that we've got different integrations that are possible. We've got Google Sheet, we've got Notion, we've got Airtable, we also got Webhooks. We're gonna make an entire video about Webhooks later. And we see that we can connect also to Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, Google Drive, Trello, etc. etc. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect this form, the product manager post offer that I created before, uh, to Google Sheets, Notion, and Airtable. So let's start with Google Sheets. So here I'm going to click on connect and we see that we got to make a connection between Tally and Google Sheet in order to collect the data in another, uh, actually, Google Sheet. And there we go. So I got a link to a Google Sheet that has been created. And here I got export existing submission. Export all previously received Tally from submission to Google Sheets, okay? So I can add an optional name describing what the integration is used for. So I'm going to put product manager, okay, submissions. There we go. Let's, let's say we're going to put that. I'm going to click on save changes and, I'm, and there we go. So here we see that I got a connection with this green point, which says connected. And here we see that it's enabled. So if I want to disable it, I can click on it. Otherwise, I can look at the events log. And we see here that we've got one submission that has been delivered, okay? So if I want to open it and look at it, we see that we've got this submission here that I did 10 minutes ago when I did the previous video. So when I come back, we can see that there is a date, etc., etc. So what I want to do is to look at the spreadsheet. So if I click here on the spreadsheet, it's going to open for me the spreadsheet. And you can see it's that we've got a product manager full-time full remote Google Sheet that has been created inside my Google account, the account that I selected previously. I can find back this Google Sheet on docs.google.com and I got the same name, the sheet has the same name as the tally form that I created. And it's collecting automatically, okay, the data. So let's say that I'm going to add a new email address. So it's going to be new at gmail.com, https slash linkedin.com slash uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and I'm going to click on apply to job. Here I submitted a new application to the uh, form of tally. And when we look at the Google Sheet, we see that we got the submission date, the address that I just entered, and the link here. So it's really easy to link Tally to a Google Sheet if we want to uh, externalize the data directly to a Google Sheet. All right, so now let's connect it to Notion. So I'm going to click on connect and it's exactly the same thing. We got to connect Tally to Notion. Suddenly I arrive here and it's asking me if I want to view all the pages, edit the pages, etc., etc. So I got to select the page where I want to put the data to. And here it's going to connect Notion to Tally. And it's exactly the same. Here I can create a connection name. So I'm going to tell product manager um, uh, job post Notion. Okay, it's going to be on my account. And I got to select a database. So back on Notion, what I need to do is to create a database. So I can type database inline. There we go. My data. I need to go to collections here and we see that we got the connection here with tally form that is done. So when I click here, I can see that I got my data, which is the database of Notion. So I click here and now I need to map all the fields. So remember on the tally uh, form, I got one field email address. So what I need to do is to create here, for instance, an email. So here, what I can do is click on edit type. And here it's type title by default for this one. But here, if I'm doing it, I can change the type and I can say, hey, it's going to be an email. So I'm going to add the email and here it's going to be email. All right, so I'm going to save this. Then I will have another uh, property here, that will be the LinkedIn address. So let's say that I want, I would like to have the LinkedIn address. So what I can do is to click here plus, 
and here it's going to be so is there a link let's look at it there is a link so i can add the link and here it's of type text so basically i can change i'm going to put linkedin url there we go and here i can close this and there we go so i'm going to map here i'm going to update this and I'm having the email, so I can save the email. There we go. So here I can see that I got URL instead of the, the link that I did before. So I'm going to save this. And if I come back here and I update, so I'm going to update again, we can see that we've got the LinkedIn URL. All right, okay. I could add more and more properties, but here I'm just going to click on connect with Notion. And there we go. So I got exactly the same option. I can click on event logs and we see that it transferred the previous data from Tally directly to the Notion, okay? So what I can do is to go check and look at this. There we go. We've got the previous submission that has been entered into uh, this product manager page and this table. So right now, to be honest, it's really empty. You would have to really work on it. But uh, such as this name here, we don't need necessarily this name. We would probably need the created uh, date uh, to be added as a column. but here we see that we can uh, work directly with the data from Tally into the Notion environment. And Tally is aware of the schema of Notion, which is really cool, which really help us to fulfill our uh, Notion database. All right, let's do exactly the same with Airtable. So I'm going to click on connect and it's always the same pass. So here Tally form is requesting Airtable access. So what I got to do is to click on add a base. And this base, actually, it's a new sheet that I got to create into Airtable. On Airtable, I'm going to put, for instance, products manager. There we go. I'm going to let the blue color, whatever. We can skip all this setup. I'm going to confirm. And here we are creating a first base. So there we go. We've got a table here and it's exactly the same as Notion. We've got columns here that we got to fulfill from Tally. So here I can click on product manager, my first work workspace, and I'm going to click on grant access. So it's supposed to be good. And then this is exactly the same. So it's going to be product manager submission. And you will see every time on every integration, it's almost the same. So I'm going to select the base, which is the product manager with a table. And here it's going table one. And what I need to do is of course, of course, what I need to do is to map all the field again. So I'm going to do the email address and here there is no uh, email uh, uh, column. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to type email. Okay, so um, email address, we got it here, there we go. So I'm going to put email address. Okay, I'm going to create the, the, the field. And then here I'm going to put a URL. So here I got a URL. And here it's going to be LinkedIn URL. Okay, so LinkedIn URL, I'm going to click on create field and there we go. So back in here, what I can do is to fetch again the model and I got my email address and here I got email and then I'm adding my field and I got what I got my LinkedIn and I got LinkedIn URL field. So I can also check the export existing submission here and I'm going to click on connect with our table and there we go we've got also the connection to our table. So that with integrations, we can link our tally form to another platform. So we could have done it also with Slack to get a message every time somebody is going to submit. Or we could have done it with Make, or we could have done it with Zapier, etc., etc. And we see here that we connected all our uh, uh, submissions directly to each platform. And automatically, when we are going to uh, fulfill the form and submit it when we are going to click on apply to job all the tables in uh, google sheet notion and Airtable are going to be fulfilled automatically if we got problem and if we want to do a uh, backup or if we want to come back and see the events log we can come back on every uh, connection that we have here every uh, integration that we have here and we have this log that we can check if it has been fulfilled or not